Welcome back everyone. I thought I would do a little compositing today to demonstrate ways to make realistic reflections when working with reflective surfaces like this water. You know, like if you want to add a majestic eagle swooping down to catch a fish like this one here. Well, let me show you how I did it in Affinity Photo 2. I started with this cool image of a winter lake scene that I downloaded for free on pixabay.com. To bring the eagle image onto the canvas, you can either go to File and then Place, or if you have it on your toolbar like I do, you can use the Place tool. Either way, I can open up my files and select the image I want to import. Then, I'll just use my cursor to drag it out over the water here. I'll put links to both images in the description if you want to follow along. Anyway, I want to remove the bird from its background. So, I'll go to the Selection Brush tool in the left-hand toolbar and I'll start painting over. Remember, you can make your brush head bigger by clicking the right square bracket key a few times and smaller by clicking the left. And, if you need to unselect areas you got by mistake, just hold the Option or Alt key while painting away. Alright, this selection looks pretty good. So, I'll go to the Refine button in the top toolbar to see if I need to clean it up a bit. I'll change the preview mode to white because I think it will show up better against the bird. Okay, that looks pretty good, so I'll go to the Output drop-down and select New Layer with Mask and then Apply. Okay, next I'll use the arrow-shaped Move tool to resize and move my feathery friend to where I want him. Now, I'll create the reflection. With the cutout layer selected, I'll first click Command or Control plus J to duplicate it. Then, with the lower copy selected, I'll right-click on the bird and scroll down to Transform and then flip vertical to make this layer upside down. I'll click drag this bird down so its talon is touching the talon of the upper bird. All right, next, I'll go to the Blend Modes drop down at the top of the Layers panel and scroll down until I see one that looks good. I think I'll go with soft light as you can see a lot of the water showing through. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now I want this reflection to ripple a little bit with the water. So, I'll drag the background layer up one in the layer stack so that it's right under the reflection layer. Then, I'll go to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and I'll scroll down to Displace. I'll select Load Map from Layers Beneath and then I'll wiggle the Strength slider back and forth a bit until I like the way it looks. Right, that looks good, but the reflection shifted a bit to the left, so I'll use the Move tool to drag it back into place. Next, I imagine that there would be a little ripple in the water where the eagle's talon is dipping in. So, I'll go back to my Place tool, or File Place in the menu, and I'll open an image of rippling water that I got on pixabay.com. I'll drag that out to about the size I want it, then, I'll choose a soft round brush from the Basics category in the Brushes panel. I'll select my Paintbrush tool in the left-hand toolbar. Then I'll set the paint color to black. And finally, I'll select the Ripple layer and then click the Add Layer Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel. With a normal white mask, you can paint away pixels using the color black. So, I'll just paint away the edges to make this look circular instead of a rectangle. OK, next, I'll right-click on the Ripple layer and scroll down to Rasterize to put it into a single pixel layer. Then, I'll go to the Mesh Shaped Perspective tool in the left-hand toolbar, and I'll manipulate the little corner nodes until the Ripple's perspective seems to match the waters. Next, I'll use the Move tool to move the Ripple under the bird's talon. Then, I'll click-drag the Ripple layer and move it between the two bird layers in the stack. OK. Next, I'll blend this in by going to the Blend Modes drop-down and scrolling down until I see one that works best for me. I think I'll go with Soft Light. Now, to see a little more of the water and reflection, I'll just go to the Opacity slider at the top of the Layers panel and lower it down to around 57%. Now, I noticed that the Ripple layer doesn't look quite right, so I'll do a few more things to it. 
First, I'll click the layer mask button again to add a layer back onto it. Then, with the paintbrush selected and the color set to black, I can clean up the edges a bit to make it look more rounded. Then, I'll select the Perspective tool again and drag on the corner nodes to flatten the layer out a little bit more. Finally, I think my ripple is a bit too bright. So I'll click on the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and I'll select Brightness and Contrast. Then, I'll drag the new adjustment layer onto the ripple layer so that's the only layer affected. Then, I'll just lower the brightness down a bit. There, that looks better. Alright, very last thing here. You may have noticed that my eagle's wings were a bit under-selected when I used the refine tool earlier. I'll fix that now. Since I chose the output to a new layer with a mask, I can always go back and touch up. I'll select the mask and choose the white paint color to add pixels back on. Then, I'll just use a very small paintbrush to paint over the areas that were missed. There, it's the little details that count sometimes. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.